A hoax email. If it, so we've got a group known for for perpetrating stunts. And here we have our vaunted and respected state controlled media falling for it sit without even checking it out. The internet is just a sewer. It seems to me they get most of their news from that sewer these days. We're here with this special file sharing edition of the Yes Men Fix the World. Yeah, and this is a special edition because we have another film to show you first, one that you won't see anywhere else because we're being sued by the United States Chamber of Commerce. And as part of their lawsuit, they have demanded that every copy of this video that you're about to see be impounded and destroyed. So please do pass it around. September 2009. Back in September, we were working with a bunch of climate change activists to plan an event in Washington, D.C. We wanted to make a political point about an organization that's pulling off some of the world's biggest hoaxes. No, not this organization. The one across the street. The one that looks like a U.S. government office, but really is working against the government. In reality, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce is a large corporation that is reported to lie to the public on behalf of even bigger corporations. They spend nearly half a million dollars a day trying to convince the U.S. government to do really stupid shit, like killing environmental regulations and undermining workers' rights. But since they spend so much money on their hoaxes, many people believe them. And as it says, American Free Enterprise dream big, but their dreams are our nightmares because their plans are to prevent us from passing climate change legislation, which means we're screwed. Since the chamber was hoaxing us all and threatening our survival, we decided to fight fire with fire we would reveal one of their biggest lies by masquerading as them. We would hold a press conference as the chamber at the National Press Club. But first, we sent out a parody press release from them. It was sort of like their normal ones, except ours was sane. How would the world react to the chamber suddenly reversing its position on climate change? A reversal on climate change from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. It will reverse its position on the climate change bill and once a carbon tax, if you will. All right, so the U.S. Chamber is denying it now. All right, so maybe not. Apparently it was a hoax. Either there is a group or some people or a person. Is there any involvement of the White House whatsoever? Uh, I couldn't even begin to go there, Larry, on, on that one. Today, the country's largest business lobby, the Chamber of Commerce, got punked. It began early this morning when a press release went out, purportedly from the United States Chamber of Commerce. Amazingly, the release said that the chamber would now support this legislation that it's spent months fighting against. Reporters were surprised and probably confused at this odd turn of events, but that was nothing compared to what actually happened at the press conference when it was held later on this morning. Watch this tape. Clean coal is, is a, a technology that has not only not been proven, it basically doesn't exist. Okay, this is, uh, I'm Eric Walschlegel, I'm with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Um, this is not an official U.S. Chamber of Commerce event. Um, so, I don't know what pretenses you're here. I know some of you uh, in the press world, but this is a fraudulent press activity and a stunt. Who are you really, sir? 
And do you have a business card? Are you with the U.S. Chamber? I, I do. We can discuss afterwards. Okay. Can but I see your business card? Can I see yours? Are you here representing the U.S. Chamber of Commerce? Yes, I am. Okay, well, I work there, and you do not look familiar to me at all. Could I see your business Is this card? A stunt? Could I see your business Is this card? A stunt? Are you interrupting a president? Yes, I am. And, uh, this guy does not represent the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Can we finish? Okay. Minute? No. This is not an official Chamber of Commerce. This is not. Uh, what is your position at the Chamber of Commerce? I just spoke my position. We've got a working. What is your What is your title and your official title at the U.S. Chamber? I'm of the Commerce. assistant to Mr. Donahue. Okay. okay. This guy is a fraud. He's lying. Um, this is, you know, a stunt that I've never seen before. So if you'd like to okay. actually talk to the legitimate Chamber of Commerce, I've got my business cards outside. This gentleman, I will assure you, does not have any business cards, and he's not legitimate. Show me your business card. No, show me yours. No, show me yours. Yeah, they both look like imposters. <laughs> <laughs> what? But it's you just, got a business card? I, it's so weird, though. But you don't look familiar. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce says it was victimized. Victims of a hoax by environmental activists. They said public relations hoaxes undermine the genuine effort to find solutions on the challenge of climate change. A hoax actually led to the, the chamber admitting that there is a challenge for climate change. It seems like a good first step. So next up, hoax is about poverty, violence, education. hunger. For educa the for the education. The big education hoax. We've got the, a big education hoax in this The hoax is country. a good first step. Yeah. So that's the story, folks. Not entirely. Then they decided to use this opportunity to raise funds. Mm -hmm. They put out Google ads. And you'd click on that and it would take you to a page from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce asking you to give them $250 to help defend themselves against us. It gets even funnier. They not only use this opportunity to fundraise, but then they decided to sue us. <laughs> and by the way, we're being defended by some of the best lawyers in the world. We're being defended by the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Go to EFF.org to check them out. Sweet, wait. wait. There's another punchline. Not only did Fox pick up our release, not only did Volschlegel come and interrupt our press conference, not only did the Chamber of Commerce try to raise funds off this event, and not only did well, they sue well, us, not only did they sue us, but they actually changed their policy two weeks later. Just today, the Chamber of Commerce changed positions, not courtesy of the yes men with right, that stunt right, right. in Washington a few weeks ago. But they're now saying, uh, surprisingly to me, and I'm glad about it, that they want to get legislation and they're now working with the sponsors of the bill. Gore saying it didn't happen because of the yes men is kind of the highest compliment we've ever been paid, I think. So if you're interested in uh, people maintaining their freedom of speech, EFF dot org is a very good organization to support and also if you're interested in basically more mayhem of this sort please do go and see the yesmen.org slash lab that is the yesmen.org slash lab where you can find out about the yes lab the yes lab is a thing we've launched to try to make this happen a lot more to pass this film around to other people because the u.s chamber of commerce wants people not to see it yeah, that's reason enough as far as we're concerned. The Chamber of Commerce needs the support of every American who gives a damn about free markets, private property, and fears creeping fascism. This country cannot afford for the insurance industry to cave. This country cannot afford for the Chamber of Commerce to cave. The Chamber of Commerce has been screwed, 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 screwed. <laughs> I'm extremely happy to be here because today is a very historic occasion for all of us at Dow and I am grateful. Let's walk that way. I am grateful. You're extremely pleased to be I'm here. I'm extremely pleased to be here. Yes, extremely pleased to be here, Steve. This is my friend Andy. And my name is Mike. Today, I'm holding the camera. And that's okay if it's, that's it's the good thing to know. Exactly. Andy is about to go on live television 